We will now show you the new planning model which is delivered with a financials add-on for SAP Business Suite powered by SAP HANA. As a front end, we use business objects analysis for Excel. In our example, we have set up a planning scenario with three different views. In the first worksheet, you can see the plan data based on the entire P&L, while the second workbook shows a plan by COPA characteristics. In this case, product groups. Finally, we are planning on cost center level in the third workbook. We now copy the actual values of the current fiscal year into our planning column by pressing the corresponding button. Because the columns for actual and plan data now show the same data, you can see a value of zero in the column showing the difference between the other two columns. Let us assume that plan data entry is performed decentrally in the example company. Firstly, the sales managers enter their revenue targets. For example, in the second worksheet, the service manager is entering an increase in revenue of €60,000 compared to the previous year. Upon pressing the button Recalculate, the amount is summarized bottom up. Because the plan data was entered on a hierarchy node, the amount is also distributed to the nodes underneath. Next, the HR director is entering the planned personnel expenses for the service department and increases the plan value by €40,000 compared to the previous year. Because of the integrated planning model, you can now see in the total P&L view that the total plan result of the entire company has changed by €20,000 due to the increased plan revenue and the higher planned personnel expenses. You now have the opportunity to drill down the P&L by any characteristic, for example, by customer group. To do this, we first show the available characteristics and pull the customer group into the line view. When we close this view again, you can see that the P&L is now broken down by customer group.